good afternoon today we will discuss about alrs volume 1 or np281 so this is basically our book before that i will show you something about how to select these books and how to check for updates so this is our catalog it's a 2021 edition in this catalog if you go to the publications page the publications page under publications comes the ALRS so this is the list of all the ALRS in the world and under ALRS because we are going for NP281 we will be selecting this ALRS281 is divided into two volumes so you just draw a line on where index of diagram and find where you are so we are basically somewhere here so we will be using 2812 after this the next thing you have to do is you have to check your notice to mariner for updates the basic thing you have to get is np uh, sorry uh, the quarterly notice to mariner this is week num uh, quarterly third quarterly 3921 so under this you go to the alrs volume 1 which is on board so this is my alrs so 2812 first edition 2020 and published on week 48 20 after this comes all the list of corrections that had happened so example is andigu and Bar barbuda a correction came on week 48 of 2020 so if it was 2021 they will have given 2021 and 35 so chile had a correction 2020 49 week and 2021 35th week so this is how you can use it now let us go into the note alrs volume 1 so this is alrs volume 1 <coughs> this had been received before my coming on board so it has not the date receipt was not written <coughs> next comes the record of all the updates so I have already made a video about uh, how to correct the ALRS so once you understand which how to correct one ALRS it's the same that is applicable to all the ALRS please check that video then the contents contents of this book and these are pages that are common to all, all books now comes the glossary and uh, abbreviations the terms that are used in this book and after this comes the global communication network they will be discussing about all the communication systems in the world this is globe star global star then comes the inmarsat how to find identify an inmarsat then all the LES uh, and associated MRCs you can just pause the video and read it if you want because I'm making it possible for you to pause the video and read it next comes the Iridium GM uh, service after this comes the Turaya next the Opcom and finally the maritime radio stations so this is what this book is all about maritime radio stations so all your telemedical advices pre arrival quarantine reporting all this you can do using this book so the basic example of how to read this is they will give you the country code then comes all the telemedical advice then the MRCC <coughs> this is a MRCC this is a normal co station if it is red it is MRCC then their contact details and this is if they are up uh, if they are going to accept amber this is if they are going to accept weather then the call uh, all these are just contact details and next comes the final one is oh, so, uh, sorry uh, the next comes pollution reporting and then 
the pre arrival quarantine reporting so i'll show you an example the best example last time when i went through the book is australia ah australia see also remember this book all the countries are named in the alphabetical order so once you go to australia the first thing they give you is the telemedical advice how to call the all the procedures everything they'll explain it here after this the list of the co stations since this is adelaide and it is not an mrcc you will just get adelaide and this is their uh, station identification number call sign and where the control center is as you can remember they are not giving they are not taking any weather nor amber then they will give you the notes on how to uh, contact them or what are details then rt on high frequency when it transmits and when it receives so remember when you transmit or receive you have to use the transmitting frequency on your receiver and receiving frequency on your transmitter so this it's the same thing then nothing else is comes up here so we'll use jrcc canberra okay jrcc canberra is an mrcc so the control center mmsi number where this watch is going to happen no amber no weather observation and diagram on page number 43 so this is page number 43 on page number 43 you can find canberra should be uh, somewhere here so this is canberra as you can see canberra is a control center so it it is in black so if it was a remote site they would have given in white also next comes this canberra is also not having any remote sites so for Re marine radio victoria you can see there are all these are basically remote sites with their positions so this is how you will read it after you finish this towards the end in australia they will give you the pollution pollution reporting how to report pollution remember this is for the whole of australia so whichever station is near you can report it again a long list after this comes the pre arrival quarantine reporting all the contact details which all documents are needed everything is written and finally australia is completed so this is how you will use a maritime radio station for reporting all this next towards the end of the book so this is the whole list remember these are all corrections that have been done you can see so whenever a correction is done just cut and paste it after this towards the end comes the anti piracy so this is the end of maritime radio station after this comes the anti piracy so the anti piracy contact tables this is the list so if you are sailing in a place of piracy this are the authorities whom you should contact so they will give you all the emergency reporting regions covered their addresses fax email helpline everything they will give you remember this page is having the scissor mark i believe you can see that scissor mark so that it is possible for you to cut and keep it on somewhere you want to paste it on bridge and this is a single side again next the anti piracy contact tables part 2 again this page is also possible to be cut and kept on a separate file or wherever you want to paste it on bridge where whenever the alrs is having the scissor mark that means that page is supposed to be cut and kept on bridge 
next comes the centro international radio medico this is the contact of the people who will give you 24 hours medical coverage so suppose you are not you are unable to contact your uh, regional radio station just contact them they will assist and coordinate with the regional mrcc and help you this is the contact details and how to uh, apply for medical evacuation everything they will provide so this is continued next comes the maritime declaration of health form and these are all international health regulation quarantine predict messages next comes the quarantine form maritime declaration of health form after this comes uh, this is the second part the attachments to any declaration of health form that you might need next comes locus reporting so locus are basically grasshoppers they are just growing up and they are basically found towards the african and uh, african coast so whenever you observe a locust you have to warn the people to where the country nearby about the locust uh, flights you have observed so these are the contact details this is for muscat radio next comes for the arabian sea for the oman north atlantic spain and canaries then comes the frequency for the gmdss so they are giving you the table of uh, frequencies it's an extract of the itu table I'll just glance through it then comes frequency used for dsc after this comes general radio regulations these are all basically frequencies i'll skip through it next comes the table of international call sign series for all the countries so the ship under which country it is registered your call sign will correspond to any of this so suppose you are from india india has a lot of call signs it can either be starting from this 8 tango alpha again alpha tango alpha to alpha whiskey zulu again okay that's it so this is how your call sign of the ship is assigned next comes the international telephone or the telex codes this is given by uh, given with reference to the country after this is the phonetic alphabet and figure code basically how to spell out or call a uh, numeral or, uh, or an alphabet and finally the international code of signals all the flags so after this comes the index of maritime radio station this is basically the index of all the radio stations you saw in the forward of this uh, book and finally it will come to notes these are pages for notes that's how this book is used i hope you got got a good understanding of how to use 281 and uh, thank you for watching